Hey guys, I thought I would check in and do a little vlog about how things are going with my pregnancy. I don't do a ton of vlogging just because, I don't know, I guess I don't feel like there's like a ton going on in my life right now because of the pandemic, but I guess that's not true. I guess there's a lot going on in my life right now. There's, in fact, another life going on inside of me right now. So I am 33 weeks pregnant. Um, that's a little over eight months, about eight months plus a week. So I've got between five to seven weeks to go. Um, my due date is officially October 16th, but your baby can be born uh, two weeks prior or two weeks after. So um, literally I'm now like counting down weeks instead of months now, which is crazy. Um, here, let me show you my baby bump before I get any further. So it's pretty, pretty big. I feel enormous. <laughs> like I really feel enormous. Um, things started to get kind of rough in the seven month and now they just get harder. Um, getting off the couch is really difficult. Um, rolling over in bed is not easy. Getting up to pee in the middle of the night, which I have to do like five times, is a fucking drag. And, you know, it's not just the extra weight that I'm carrying around, but also you have to consider the fact that I don't have any more core strength anymore, right? And you don't think about all of that strength that you use in your core to just have you do everyday fucking activities, like get off the couch. Like, so I don't have that anymore. So it has to all come from like my legs and my arms and it's, um, and it's difficult. Um, and I won't lie. I've been feeling really frustrated and I've been feeling, um, very weak and very feeble lately. Actually this morning I was, you know, I exercise, I, I go on the Peloton bike. I spin for like about 30 minutes, um, at least twice a week. And I felt like I couldn't really push myself as hard as I normally could. And I got really frustrated about that, you know? And, um, so I did that and then I was kind of doing my pelvic floor exercises cause you got to try to strengthen your pelvic floor. And my husband came over to like, ask me what I wanted for lunch. And I just started crying and I am not one for emotional outbursts. I tend to be pretty even keel, but I think I just feel so like trapped in this monstrous body that isn't able to do that much. And I guess, um, you know, the hormonal swings are starting to maybe kick in a little bit now that I'm getting closer to my due date. And so I just like felt really frustrated. I think it was compounded by the fact that I did my very last shoot for possibly the rest of the year. Um, two days ago, I shot Aria Lee for my website and it felt really weird to know that that was the last shoot that I was going to be doing for possibly the rest of 2020. You know, I have never taken a break from shooting. I have never not worked. So much of my personal identity is wrapped up in my career and being, you know, quote unquote, Holly Randall. And so I think that was really hard for me. Um, you know, I have this great fear that, my clients won't hire me when I'm ready to come back and shoot, that people will forget about me. You know, I've worked so hard to get to where I am right now that, you know, I've, I've scrambled and scrabbled to, you know, get my fingers, you know, up that, that, that career ladder. And, and now like, I don't know, am I going to slide back down because I have to take some time off? It's a, it's a scary thought and, um, it's kind of frustrating as a woman when you're trying to be so many different things. So yeah, it's been kind of this existential crisis that I've been going through lately. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been kind of hard to navigate the idea of this incredibly huge shift that's about to happen in my life. And as excited as I am about becoming a mother, I also am about to enter this place where I have like a completely different identity, which is completely unfamiliar to me. So I have no idea 
what that's going to be like. I mean, honestly, the idea of loving something more than my career is something that's kind of like foreign to me. And I'm a little bit afraid of it. I mean, I welcome it because I know it's such a blessing and I'm so grateful to be able to become a mother at this chapter in my life. But, um, you know, these are uncertain times and these are uncharted waters. And so, um, so I'm nervous. I'm nervous about like, who will I become, you know, cause I know Holly Randall, the worker, but I don't know Holly Randall, the mother. So, um, it's just, uh, I don't know. I feel like that struggle between like the career woman and the mother has already like started internally within me. And so it's just something, you know, that makes me nervous, but I also want to embrace this change. I know that change is important. Change is necessary. Change is inevitable. And, um, again, like I mentioned before, I'm, I'm super grateful to even be able to experience this, this chapter in my life. Not everybody gets to become a mother. And so I feel very fortunate to have that. And I feel that, you know, having a child at my age, I mean, I'll be 42 when she's born, I think is great. I know that there's been, you know, some people who have left very, um, very kind and thoughtful comments on my YouTube channel about like, aren't you too old to be a mother? Uh, actually, no, I think this is the perfect age for me to be a mother. Um, I got everything. I did everything that I wanted to do in my youth. I was able to like party and be stupid. I was able to get sober and get my shit together. I was able to build a career. I was able to travel. I really like lived my life. And now like I'm in a place where like, okay, I'm ready for this next chapter because I know like having a child is, is going to mean an end to traveling constantly. And it's going to mean that, you know, my career won't be like the only thing that I get to focus on in my life and that I will have other priorities and I will have other responsibilities. So I just feel like life's kind of worked out perfectly and I feel super grateful, but you know, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous as well. So, um, I think it's going to be an interesting year and I look forward to seeing how it all shapes up and I'm looking forward to meeting my daughter. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. I'm going to be a mother. I'm going to be a fucking mother. Like I'm going to have a child who I'm going to be responsible for, who I'm going to raise, who I'm going to have to teach, like how to be a good person, how to do things the right way, treat people the right way, make the right decisions, all while her having her own personality that, you know, I have no idea what it's going to be like. Hopefully she's going to be easier than I was. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a crazy time. So I thought I'd just give you guys a little bit of an update on, on how I'm feeling. And um, obviously, you know, once the baby comes, that will, we'll see, uh, We'll see how I'm feeling then, right? So um, thanks for tuning in, guys. And um, thanks for joining me on this incredible journey. Thank you for supporting my podcast. And um, I love all of you very much. <laughs>